a cyberpunk style of countdown timer effect, like what we see in the opening, is pretty much cool. Today, let's take a look at how to pull the data effect in the easiest way. If you are into this topic, just free download the video editor listed in the comment section and get started with me. Launch video product flagger. Start a new project. Let's firstly create the numbers of the countdown timer. Find the text icon on the toolbar. Click on it. On the inspector panel, change the content to 3. Select the font and the size that we like. Scroll down to find the text shadow section. Let's decrease the offset volume to remove the shadow effect. After that, we need to move the number to the center of the canvas. How do we get there? It's super easy to do. Simply click on the Show Rollers icon above the preview window. Then hit the crisscross guide. Move the mouse to the center of the canvas. Video Product Flagger can attach the guides to the center position automatically. Now we can easily move the number to the center point. After that, we can click on this small eye to toggle off the guides. Next, we copy the edited text clip. Paste it twice onto here. After the original text clip, changing the text content to 2 and 1 by turn. That's how to quickly edit the three numbers. We can find a camera icon above the preview window. Let's move the playhead to the clip of the number 3. Click the camera icon to generate an image. Then we do the same thing for the clips of the number 2 and the number 1. Now we get three images of different numbers. Now let's import the generated three images onto the program. Then we import the other prepared video clips onto the program. First, we drag the motion line background onto the video track. Then we select all these three image clips and drag them onto the overlay track. Find the plus icon on the far left of the overlay track. Click on it to add a new overlay track. Drag a neon light video onto here. Let's adjust the duration of the number images. Make each of them last for one second. After that, we adjust the duration of these two video clips to make them and the image clips end at the same moment. Next, let's select the video on overlay track number 1. Go to the inspector panel on the upper right. Scroll down to find the compositing section. Choose screen blend mode. Now can help us blend the number and the background perfectly. Then let's edit these number images. Select the first image. Come over to the inspector panel on the upper right. Step 1. Let's go to the transform section. Click on height to make the image clip fit the screen. Step 2. Scroll down to get a compositing section. Select Dark and Blend mode. We can find this effect on the preview window. Let's apply the same edits for the rest of two number images. After all this works, we get this. Now 
Now let's make the countdown timer fly. Select the first image. Find the motion icon on the toolbar. Click on it to enter the motion editor. There we can find lots of presets. To create a fly-in effect, we need to use zoom out. Select it. The software adds two keyframes. Let's select the first keyframe. Go to the button and adjust the rotation volume. Then select the second keyframe. Move it forward to speed up the duration of the zoom out effect. Then we get to here for adjusting the speed curves. This can make the dynamic effect look more smooth. Take a preview. We've got a wanted effect. Hit apply to go back to the main interface. By following the same steps, let's apply the same dynamic effects for the other two images with numbers. After that, let's add a countdown sound effect that can fit the overall atmosphere. Take a quick adjustment on the sound effect. That's it. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. We'll bring you more tutorials about making some creative countdown timer effect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!